everybody, Sean McCormick alongside Marcy and Guy. Uh, there's a pitcher in NCAA Division One. we're going to speak for him later on the show. Throws with both hands, and he's got Very great impressive. stuff with both hands. Major leaguers are uh, taking note right now, the scouts. But first, take note of the Toronto Blue Jays offense. Unbelievable. Just when you count this team out, they surprise you. Here's what happened if you just missed it moments ago. Uh, Roy Halliday, 5-0 and with a 2.22 ERA in his last six against Tampa Bay. The Jays have told him this night. Top the third. Tied at one. Halliday struggling. Carlos Chang never been a double down the line. Paul Crawford will score. Part of a four-run inning at 4-1. Top of the fourth. Halliday continuing to struggle. BJ Upton crushes his pitch to straightaway. Center the two-run shot gets the raise. A 6-1 lead. Next batter, Crawford. And he gets a hold of that pitch into the second deck, the solo blast. Halliday clearly not happy. He is clearly not himself on this night with a score. 7-1. Two consecutive hits later, Halliday yay. He lasts a three and a third, giving up eight earned runs on 12 hits. There is Andy Sonnenstein making his major league debut and by the fourth now 8-2. Two one for Adam Lynn. He's going to take Sonnenstein over the wall and left with a three-run shot and that will cut the Tampa lead to 8-5. Top of the six now 9-5 for the race. Two one for Ty Wiggins in the hard ground to get past John McDonald. Crawford comes around as four. It's 10-5 for Tampa. Bottom of the ninth. The Jays down 11-7 but Jays himself doubles over the head of Elijah Duke. Lynn will come into count for Toronto. Holds within three. Two batters later. Two on for Vernon Wells. He doubles to the gap off Sean Camp, Phillips, and Alex Rios. Both come into count. The Jays down 11 10. Next batter, Matt Stairs at the dish. <laughs> Well, for the fans of Sage, they can hardly believe it. Tied at 11 after two consecutive intentional walks. Sage has loaded for Aaron Hill, and Tim Corcoran gives him the free pass. Stairs play to the Jays, come back to win it. 12-11, what a huge bottom of the nine for the Jays. A big finish as the Jays have now won three in a row. Adam Lynn hitting a career-high five RBIs. And uh, Geraldo knows South Carolina leading this game in the eighth with a leg injury. But the Jays come back from behind to win this ball game. An exciting finish for those who stayed. And Danny and Pat have more on quite a finish, guys. Oh, well, Martine, an unexpected finish, to say the least, after the uh, Tampa Bay Devil Rays jumped all over Roy Halladay early in this ball game. Andy Sonnenstein making his major league debut. He was cruising to a degree. You saw the burp he had against Adam Lynn. But... The ninth inning rolled around half the people in this building had left, and the Blue Jays come back with six. It was unbelievable. Well, we had talked earlier in the game, just chip away, just chip away. Well, it was eight to one, and then they scored four, and then the Devil Rays got some more, and the Blue Jays were off the board for a while. Then in the ninth inning, it just seemed like something turned on right here. It was a walk to uh, Aaron Hill to start it off, and then a double. In this inning, the Blue Jays had five walks in four doubles and it seemed like the devil rays just kind of took it for granted and kind of laid back uh the center fielder dukes had a lot of trouble there early in the inning and then the double just kept coming for the blue jay there's the big bang there a double by stairs ties up the game the pass ball to gloss moves everybody up stairs is at third a base is loaded walk for tim corcoran and the blue jays are dancing out of the dugout they did not look right about the fourth or fifth inning of this one. They did not expect to win this ball game. Yeah, well, they keep chipping away, and, and we were saying the same thing. Well, it looks like maybe Sonnenstein has a chance to get his first major league win. But the implosion in the bullpen for Tampa Bay, the never say die attitude of the Blue Jays, you get a couple guys on early, you know, you get a hit here, you get another walk. Let's face it, the Devil Rays did them a favor by walking five guys in that ninth inning. Yeah, a guy who established a new single game high in terms of RBI is standing down on the field with our Sam Cosentino. Well, thanks very much, Jamie. With Adam Lynn once again, uh, five RBIs. I mean, you're sitting in the dugout at the ninth inning. You really don't think you have a chance, but explain how I felt with that huge comeback. I don't know. Like I told you earlier, I, I don't think I took a breath for the last ten minutes. When you look at the resiliency of this team being able to come back and pick up hits and chip away after being down on a couple of occasions. What do you have to say about the dope man? It was amazing today, you know, I, it was incredible. The way we fought back and kept working away. 
The bullpen's been so good of late. They come in, get the job tonight, really hold down the fort and allow you guys to chip away. How about the pitching? Yeah, you know, they grind, you know everybody grinding their tails off tonight. And, uh, you know, Doc, you know, wasn't the regular Doc, but, you know, that's why we have offense, too. The ability to pick up Doc when he's down, and he's picked up this the offense so many times. Uh, speak about how the team was able to do that tonight. You know, Doc is... You know, kept teams one, two runs, every even shutouts, you know, got a third win, and feels good to be able to pick him up. Adam, thanks for your time. No problem. Adam Lynn with five RBIs and the Jays with an unbelievable come from behind victory. Let's get you back to Sportsnet Connected. Thanks very much, Dan. Yes, the uh, Tampa bullpen implosion, taking the attention away from Roy Halliday's stuff. What a difference an outing makes. And Halliday's return from the deal last week, he kept the White Sox off the board, allowing just six hits over seven innings and striking out seven. We were saying what a special uh, performer he is coming back from that. But tonight, a much different story. He gave up seven runs over three in the third. He matches a season high and hits a lad with 12 and manages to strike out just one batter. Truly not John Holiday right. But here we go. Next out. At least on our network, our, day's day tel- or our next day's telecast comes your way Friday night from LA as we have some interleague play. Dustin McGowan played the start for Toronto. Sure, I'm 